Good evening, children. Good evening, Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, children. Good evening. Let's uh, pick up from where we stopped in the last class. We discussed all this, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. So again, fact price. We have eight yes. expressions. Let's take up the first one. Ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, I'm Deva Darshini, ma'am. Ma'am, today I'm not feeling well, ma'am. So can I just simply listen to the class? Yeah, that's more than enough. Yes, Thank you. Take care. Yes, so the first one, children, uh, factorize 4p squared minus 9q squared. 4p square minus 9q square. No, I think we finished this also. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, we finished it till fifth question, ma'am. Till the fifth one, no? Huh? Ma'am, fully yes, we have ma finished, ma'am. Yeah, I remember doing all this. We have taken screenshots of all the questions, ma'am, actually. No, no, we finished the eighth one also. I remember telling you uh, to write the identity beside. Yes, uh, ma'am. That particular step. No problem. We can just uh, revise again. Uh, Danya, you, you said we finished till the fifth one, right? No, ma'am. Actually, I was writing till fifth one, ma'am. I have screenshots of six, seven, and eight, ma'am. Now only I've checked, ma'am. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but uh, we have discussed, uh, you know, all under question number two, we've discussed all the eight subdivisions. Yes, ma'am. See, I made this slide for you, for, the, for you all. Let's do this one again. So this is a uh, factorize 25A square minus 4B square plus 28BC minus 49B square, 49C square. So I was telling you that the first thing is all the four terms do not have anything in common. All the four terms, they don't have anything in common. So we there's, so there's nothing like bringing out uh, the head safe of all the four terms is one. So taking out the common factor is not the first step because all the because the head safe of all the four terms is only one. The head safe of the four terms is only one. OK, then if you try to so factorize by grouping, this will not work. You should try when you try to factorize this by grouping, it will not work. When you look at the expression, see this should be this should attract to your eyes. Uh, this is 4B square. It's a perfect square. 49c square, which is a perfect square, and this one which has bc, b square, c square, bc. Like a square, b square, 2ab, ab. a square plus 2ab plus b square. When you have a square and b square, the middle term is 2ab. When you have x square and y square, the middle term is 2xy. So here we have b square and c square. And we have BC here. So let's try to group these three terms and we'll see if uh, these three terms look like X square uh, plus or minus 2XY plus Y square. We'll just check that. Why we are grouping these three? Because there's B square, there is C square, and there is BC here. So what we do is we write the first term 25, uh, 25 A square as it is. Then whatever is the sign here, whatever is the sign here, we take out the sign common, open and close a bracket like this. Write these three terms, write the three terms for all these, th the remaining three terms, these three terms, 
inside the bracket with their opposite signs. So first step 25 a square 25 a square. This minus sign minus sign. Open and close the bracket. These are the three terms minus 4b square. It becomes plus 4b square. Plus 28bc minus 28bc minus 49c square plus 49c square. Why with the opposite signs? Because outside the bracket we have taken out a minus sign. If it was a plus sign, then the terms will come with that original signs. Not we we will not change the signs. If we take out a plus common, then the terms will come with their signs, whatever signs they carry. But when you take a minus common, you must bring the term, you must write the terms inside the bracket with their opposite signs. That's the first step. If you multiply, you'll get back the terms here minus uh, into uh, 4b square is minus 4b square. Minus into minus 28 BC is plus 28 BC. Minus into uh, plus 49 C square is minus 49 C square. Plus into minus is minus. Minus into plus is minus. So that's the first step. Then 4b square can be written as 2b the whole square. 49c square can be written as 7c the whole square. So the middle term is 2 into 2b into 7c. And when you find this product, it gives us 28bc, which is the middle term here. So this looks like the identity. This one looks like the identity x square minus 2xy plus y square, which is x minus y the whole square. This one looks like, in the bracket, it looks like x square minus 2xy plus y square, which is nothing but x minus y the whole square, where x is 2b and y is 7c. So we have 5a the whole square, the first term as it is. These three terms can be written as x minus y the whole square, 2b minus 7c the whole square. This minus sign as it is. Now this one looks like x square minus y square. X square minus y square, which can be factorized as x plus y into x minus y, where x is cover the square, take away the square. This is x 5a. Take away the square. This is y 2b minus 7c. So x square minus y square is x plus y. See it? x, which is 5a plus y 2b minus 7c into x minus y where x is 5a and y is 2b minus 7c. So on removing the brackets, 5a plus 2b minus 7c. Here since there's a minus sign outside the bracket, 2b plus 2b will become minus 2b. Minus 7c will become plus 7c. That is when you multiply the terms with the minus outside. Minus 2b plus 7c. Have we written down uh, this one, children? Okay. This was the slide which I showed you that day. That is what is uh, given looks like this one x square minus uh, 2xy plus y square. So the answer is x minus y the whole square.
in this step or we have three terms that looks like x square minus 2xy plus y square so the result is x minus y the whole square How do we factorize this? How do we factorize this class? How many terms are there? Two, two terms. Two terms. Two terms. And how, how do they read? The two terms, when you read them, how do they look like? Okay. A square minus B square. A square minus B square or A square minus Y square. So if it looks like A square minus B square or X square minus Y square, what are the factors? What is the identity? Complete the identity? The question is that B minus 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 B it looks like Ma'am, it looks like x minus y the whole square uh, x square minus y square ma'am okay. that is x plus y into x minus y ma'am very good sindhon sanjay ma'am this is in the form of x square minus y square ma'am and the answer is x plus y minus uh, into x minus y ma'am x plus y into x minus y yes ma'am okay Devadashmi, do you want to participate or you just want to listen? Yeah, ma'am, I'll listen more. Okay, yeah, yeah. take care, yeah. So children, now, now this looks like x square. This looks like x square. And this looks like y square. And this is the minus sign. So if you take away the square, if you take away the square, that's the x, x term. Take away the square, that's a y term. So what is x? And what about y? P minus Q. P minus Q. Very good. So what's the answer now? P plus Q. P square plus minus y. Q square, ma'am. No, no. How do I factorize the given expression? What is the answer? P plus Q. Uh, sorry. Uh, P square y minus Q. Yeah, ma'am. Plus x plus y into x minus y. What is x? P, ma'am. P oh, plus. Yeah. No, no, no. Now don't get confused. The given question or the given expression is of the form x square minus y square. So we are going to write the answer as x plus y into x minus y. Where in place of x we are going to write p plus q and in place of y we are going to write p minus q. The answer is x plus y into x minus y.
because the given expression because the given expression is of the form x square minus y square. So the answer is x plus y into x minus y. So x, what is x? P plus q, ma'am. P plus q, ma'am. X plus y. P minus q, ma'am. P minus q, ma'am. So what is this? This is nothing but x plus y. This is x plus y into P minus Q plus P plus Q ma'am. So this is X minus Y. X plus Y into X minus Y. So now open the brackets. P plus Q. What will happen here? Plus P minus Q. Minus 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 yeah, so what is rem what remains in the first bracket? Two P, P and P two plus P. Two P ma. Two P ma. Correct. Two P into two Q ma. Two ma. So what's the answer? Four Q ma. So P plus Q the whole square minus P minus Q the whole square is equal to 4PQ. 4PQ. Is that fine, children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. One more. Try this and tell me the answer. Yeah, factorize this expression, children. Factorize.
Got it, children? Doing math. Okay. Does it look like A square minus B square? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Madhumita, how is it A square minus B square? What is A? 12x square, ma'am. No, it's not a perfect square. A square, you are saying is 12x square. What is A? Um, I got it wrong. Ma'am, this is Kirtana, ma'am. I just yeah. now joined, ma'am. Uh, okay. I joined at the beginning. I lost in my network, so ma'am. Okay, okay. Kirtana. Is this recalling what we understood in the earlier classes? Okay, ma'am. Try this one. Yeah, try this one. Yes. Yeah, what's the first step? Ma'am, uh, I got the answers 3 into 4x uh, square minus 25y square z square, ma'am. Very good. Very good. So that's the first step, right? So, children, there are two terms. There are two terms. So it should look like a square minus b square. There is no choice when there are two terms. And you know, you can see the squares that x square, y square, z square. So you feel, it should, you feel it's like a square minus b square. But 12 and 75 are not perfect squares. But you know the HCF of 12 and 75 is 3. So you, you should bring out the HCF. That's the golden rule. That's the first thing you'll have to do when the two. Now here this expression has two terms. Both the terms have three in common. You should bring out the common factor three. Now three fours are 12 x squared. Minus three 25 times 75 y squared z squared. This is the first step. If you don't do this, then it's difficult to factorize. This is the first step. All of you must do this first. Without doing this, you cannot factorize. When there's when the terms involved, when the terms involved in the expression have a common factor other than one. One is always a common factor. Other than one, if the terms have a common factor, you must bring out common factor. I mean the highest common factor other than one. You should bring out the highest common factor. So upon taking the HCF, which is three common, we get in the bracket four X square minus 25 Y square Z square. Now four is a perfect square, 25 is a perfect square. Three will just keep happening in every step. Nothing to do with three. Three, open a square bracket, close a square bracket. It looks like a square minus b square. It looks like a square minus b square. So what should I write in the bracket? 2x, 2x ma'am. 2x. 2x ma'am. Correct. Okay. And here? 5y square. 5y ma'am. 5y square ma'am. 5y square. Very good. Next step. So now oh, we have presented it in the form a square minus b square. We have presented the expression in the form a square minus b square. So the result is a plus b into a minus b. Yes, tell me. Have 2x plus 5y 
5yz yeah into 2x minus 5yz ma'am very Two x plus five y z into two x minus five y z. Five y z and minus five y z gets cancelled, ma'am. No, no, they are in different brackets. You cannot cancel them. Since they are in different brackets, you cannot cancel them. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. Take down children. Finish writing, children. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes. Characterize the expressions. Take up the first one. Do that yourself. It's easy. A x squared plus B x. Yes. Ma'am, you gave the sums as homework, ma'am. Okay. You must have tried with them already? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay, let's discuss the answers then. Tell me the for, for the first one. Ma'am, uh, the answer is x into a x plus b, ma'am. Very good. So x is common in the first one. X is common. So in the bracket, AX plus B. That's all. X is common. AX plus B, that's it. It cannot be factorized further. Because it does not look like A square minus B square or A plus B the whole square or A, A minus B the whole square. What about the second one, children? Um, seven into k square plus three k square. Seven is the HCF. P square plus three q square, ma'am. Yeah. Again, nothing can be done with p square plus three q square. You may think that p square and q square are perfect square. The sign in the middle is plus. It's like P square plus 3Q square, while the identity is A square minus B square. So that's it. Just take out 7 common. P square plus 3Q square. That's all. Because it doesn't look like uh, P square minus Q square. There are two terms. Of two terms, they don't look like uh, P square minus Q, uh, sorry, A square minus B square. 
Only seven is common. In the bracket, we have p square plus three q square. P square plus three q square, two terms, but it does not. It's not in the form a square minus b square, so it cannot be factorized further. Third one, children. Two x into x square plus y square that is x square, ma'am. Y square plus x y, ma'am. Two x is common. X square plus y square plus z square in the bracket. Two x is common. X square plus y square plus z square in the bracket. All right. Third one, children. That's all. In the bracket, we have x square plus y square plus z square that cannot be factorized further. Next one, children. Fourth one. Ma'am, uh, the answer is a plus b into n square plus n square, ma'am. What's the first step? Why should we change the order? You can do it anyways. Let's try the same order first. Ma'am, we have done grouping the same yeah. order, order ma'am. What's common? M square is common, right? We group the first terms. We group the last two terms. M square is common between the first two terms. In the bracket, A plus B, correct? Yes, ma'am. M plus what's common? N square, ma'am. N square. Yes, square. In the bracket, what do you get? B plus B, ma'am. B plus A. B plus A. So that is n square into a plus b plus n square into a plus b because b plus a you can write it as a plus b. b plus a can be written as a plus b. So a plus b, a plus b. See, you can write n square plus n square also first. Anything. A plus B into M square. Yeah. Plus N square, ma'am. Plus N square. Yes. Correct. Fifth one, children. L plus one into M plus one. Ma'am, one plus one into L plus one, ma'am. Group it, is it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So tell me what's common between uh, the first two terms. 
The fifth one. One ma'am. First two terms. What is? No, that is L M plus L. It's not one. This is one. Here, this is this is L M plus one. Oh, not one plus L. One is like this. You can see the difference in the style of L and one. These are L. This one is one. So in the first bracket, L is common, right? In the bracket, what you get if you take out L comma in the bracket? Yum, yeah, ma'am. Yum, yeah, ma'am. Yum plus one, ma'am. Yum plus one. Because L into one is L. Plus what's the HCF of uh, M and L? One, ma'am. In the bracket? Yum yeah, plus one. One minute, I'm not able to annotate L into M plus L plus one into M plus L. Yeah. All of us understand this. Between the first two terms, L is common. One minute, children. I'm just, just erase it and do it again. L is common between the first two terms, children. So L into M is LM. Plus L into one is L. Between the sec third and the fourth term, one is common. M plus one. One ma'am. Yeah. Now these two ma brackets. M yes? plus one is common, ma'am. Yeah, M plus one. Into L plus one, ma'am. L plus one. L plus one, ma'am. Very good. What was the sixth one? Sixth one, children, it's like the question is this one. If the question is given to you like this, this is the answer, right? This is the question. This is the question. This is the answer. So it's like the first step of the grouping is given to you. So what will be the answer? Y plus Z, Y plus Z. In both the brackets, we have Y plus Z. Y plus Z, Y plus Z. So write it once, Y plus Z. Y plus Z, Y plus Y plus Z into Y plus 9, ma'am. Y plus 9, yeah, that's all. It's like they've given us this step. This step is given us, given to us. This step is given to us. So what will we do after that? The two brackets have uh, the same expression M plus one. So we write that one and then once and then we gather LN plus one. Similarly here in the two brackets, we have Y plus Z. So write it out once and gather Y plus nine in the other bracket, Y plus nine. Correct, children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. See, y plus z, y plus z, common. So y plus z ones. And then this y plus nine in the other bracket. Anything first? Yes, children, the seventh one. Seventh one I would like to explain. Ma'am, 
Say the answer. The final answer. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma no, no, no. I want no. Okay, fine. I'll uh, let's do it together and let me know if you got the same answer in the end. Yes. All right. Yeah. So what we observe is this term has only y square. This has y. This has z. This has y z. Before you group, you should run, you should, uh, you know, like check if the first two terms and the last two terms, they have something in common. What is common between 5y square and minus 20y? 5y, ma'am. 5y, ma'am. Because what is common between 5 and 20? 5, ma'am. 5, y square and y? Y, ma'am. Why? What's common between 8 and 2? 2, two ma'am. And Z and Y, Z? Z, Z ma'am. Is this correct? Yes, it's have. Then what is the sign plus or minus? Plus plus one. Y plus sign. See, actually we can put any sign there. Accordingly, you should uh, take the signs in the bracket. But what I have told you is whatever is a sign here. Take the same sign. So minus. What's common? Two Z ma'am. Two Z ma'am. Okay, two Z. Four plus plus or minus minus ma'am. Ma yeah. Ma'am, you already shared us the we some screenshots, ma'am. Screen answers also. Yes, ma'am. Oh, but we have this right. We haven't discussed, right? Ma'am, we, have, uh, we haven't discussed, ma'am. Okay, okay. Ma'am, I just have a doubt, ma'am. Yeah. Ma'am, in the screenshots uh, you shared, you, you did this some in a different way, ma'am. Yeah, ma yeah, I'll tell you both the ways. I'll tell you both the ways. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so now, is this fine? Let me write for you from the beginning. 5y is correct. Open bracket. 5y square minus 5y into 4 is 20y minus 2z is common. Correct? Now what should I write inside here? 4 minus into what plus. is given plus? Minus. Plus. Minus. 2z is common. So what will I have here? Y. Yes, ma'am. Now, do the, do the expressions in the brackets match? Are they the same? Yes, ma'am. Ma no, y. They are not. Ma'am, it is 4 ma minus y, ma'am. It should change into 4. Y minus 4, ma'am. Yeah, so how do you... Now this is like uh, a minus b. How do you write when you write this b minus a? I've told you change the sign outside. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma if you want to write a minus b as b minus a, change the sign outside the bracket. So you want to write four minus y as y minus four, y minus four. Write it. But outside, what do you have minus two z? Make it plus two z. Two z. 
Now, y minus 4, we have the same uh, expression y minus 4 in both the brackets. So, oh. once and then in 5y plus 2z, ma'am. 5y plus 2z. Yeah, now you can ask your doubts, children. Sindhu and Sanjay, or let me see how it is work. Okay, you can ask me. Ma'am, it's clear, ma'am. You're sure? Please take the same sign, this sign only. Ma'am, uh, actually I took plus ma'am, plus 2z I took ma'am. Uh, okay, then you got, you have got minus uh, uh, 4 plus y, correct? Yes ma'am, I also took 2z ma'am in bracket 4y plus, uh, 4 plus y ma'am. children. Uh, Danya, you seem to have gone wrong. Ma'am, plus 2z in bracket minus 4 plus y. Ah, okay, okay. Minus 4 plus y. Okay. So, minus 4 yes, plus y means y minus 4. Minus 4 plus y is nothing but y Minus 4. Yes, ma'am. For this, you don't have to change the sign outside because it's already y minus 4. Plus y, see here. It is writing plus y first and then the minus 4. But here, when you write 4 minus y as y minus 4, you're writing minus y as plus y. Plus 4 as minus 4. So you should change the sign outside. Okay, so here, here I've just rearranged the terms. I've rearranged the terms, so we did not encounter that situation. If you did not rearrange, what I just showed you will be the procedure. Here I've rearranged. I've written plus 2yz as the third term and minus 8z as the fourth term. So we get the answer straight away. If you do not exchange those two terms. See, you might not realize also, right? You want me to do this again? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am? Yeah? Ma'am, can you explain this uh, sum one more time, ma'am? Which one? Seventh one, no? Yes, ma'am. Oh, sure. See, uh, here I'll tell you what I've done. Here it is. Like since I have 5 and 20, like in the first two terms, 5y squared, 20y. So here also I rearrange. I write the smaller one, the, the smaller coefficient first. Like we have 5 and then minus 20. So I, I have rearranged the terms, plus 2yz and minus 8z. The third and the fourth term. The first and second terms, the first term, the first and second terms, 5 minus 20. But here in the third and fourth term, we have uh, minus 8 first and then plus 2. That is the greater number first and then the smaller number. 
So I have rearranged five twenty two eight. Like five fours are twenty, two fours are eight. I have exchanged the terms. Can you see that the third and the fourth term? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, what is common between uh, five and twenty-five? Five, ma'am. Square and five, raised. Five, ma'am. Yeah. Five i in five is five i square. Five i into minus four is minus twenty y. Whatever is the sign here, write the same sign plus. Between two and eight. Two is common between uh, y z and z. Z is common in the bracket. Two z into y is two y z. Plus into what will give you this minus eight z. Plus into what will give you minus. Plus into minus is minus. So minus. And two fours are eight. Two z into four is eight z. In this step, what is that which is uh, meaning? What is that which is difficult to understand? I'll stress on that. Ma'am, uh, I didn't understand that uh, how uh, the plus two z in the next term becomes minus two z, ma'am. No, no, ma'am. The minus two z becomes in the next step as minus two z, ma'am. Ma'am, oh, no, no ma'am. In the in the other alternate working, is it not here? Ma'am, uh, ma'am, uh, the first step is minus two z, ma'am. Correct, uh, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, correct, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Tell me. Ma'am, the uh, the first step, the the minus two z, uh, in the second step becomes plus two y z. Two set, ma'am. That is a doubt for me, ma'am. But not oh, in this working. No, not in this procedure. Yes, ma'am. The other method you are asking, right? Yes, ma'am. No, no, no. See this, this in this this method there. We don't have a step like that, right? Where a plus becomes a minus. Yes, ma'am. This is direct. We just exchange these two terms. Yes, ma'am. Two comes first and eight uh, was uh, at last, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. I think you are out us with this one. If you don't, if you take, if you take the expression as it is. Yes, ma'am. I do keep that as I said it. Um, as it is. Yeah. We'll we'll work that again. What's common between the first two terms? Ma'am, five, ma'am. Five, ma'am. Five, I. So what do you have in the bracket? Y minus four, ma'am. Whatever is the the third term, whatever is the sign of the third term, you should put the same sign. Then isn't it minus? What is the third term? Eight z. It has a minus sign. Put that sign. Minus. What's common between eight z and two y z? Two z. Two z. Two z. Minus two z into what will give you minus eight z? Minus. Plus. Minus four. Okay, I'll write minus four. Okay. Now what will happen? Minus into minus yes, plus plus eight z it will become. Yes, ma'am. We must we should put plus four, ma'am. Plus four. Yes, ma'am. We will get minus eight, ma'am. I should write a four. Then only I'll get minus into minus. plus eight z. Yes, ma'am. Now, what sign should I put here so that I get plus two y z? My last term is plus two y z. What sign should I put here so that I get plus two y z? Minus. Minus. 
Minus. Minus. Minus into minus will give me a plus. Yes, ma'am. What minus. is the fourth term? Fourth term is plus two y z. The fourth term is plus two y z. Yes, ma'am. Plus two y z. So minus into minus only will give plus. So you have to take a minus in the bracket. And y. Y. Is this step understood? Yes, ma'am. Understood. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now. Y minus four and four minus y they are not the same because because ten minus six and six minus ten answers are not the same. Yes, ma'am. Ten ten minus six is four. Six minus ten is minus four. Minus four, ma'am. Y minus four and four minus y they are not the same. So yeah. what we do? Write the first one as it is. Five by into y minus four. Write this as it is. Now just Just follow this. I'll tell you why it works. Write four minus y as y minus four. All right? Yes, ma'am. Then this minus two z outside. Write it as plus two z. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Now yes, multiply. Now multiply this and see what is two z into y. What is plus two z into y? Plus two y z. Can yes, you see the first term plus two y z? Yes, ma'am. Two z. Y ma'am. And what is plus two z into minus four? Minus eight z. Minus eight ma'am. Minus eight z. Do we have a minus eight z? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma yeah, so we are getting the same terms. Yes ma'am. So remember when you are writing uh, a minus b as b minus a, that is here you are writing four minus y as y minus four. What you should do is outside you should change the sign. Minus two z will become plus two z, but you'll not be changing the value of any term because see if you when you multiply you get back the terms. Plus two z into y is plus two y z the fourth term. Plus two z into minus four is minus eight z which is the third term. Now how do we finish this? Five plus two z, ma'am. Five plus two z, ma'am. All right. Yes, sir. Understood, ma'am. All right. Good. Okay, the last two is also grouping. You said you have taken the screenshots, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Go through our work. Each of it in two different ways. Please go through. And ask me if you have any doubt. Eight and nine have done it in two ways. Please go through and ask me if you have any questions. Ma'am. Yeah. Ma'am, we must know uh, both the things or uh, one thing is enough, ma'am. Oh, one will do. One yes. will do. Yeah. Yes. yes. It's better you work both both the methods. You should understand everything which is on the screen. That's important.
So this is uh, the original, that is taking the terms as it is given in the question, 10AB plus 4A plus 5B plus 2. This one is, this one is rearranging. Similarly here, taking it as it is in the question. Here, I've just rearranged. So when you look at this one, 6xy, the first term 6xy as it is. I brought the fourth term here in the second place, minus 9x. The fourth term, minus 9x in the second place. It will be minus 9x only. You are not taking it to the other side. Or it's an expression. We are not working with equations. We are working with expressions. So the, first, the fourth term becomes a second term. Same sign, it will be minus 9x. Then this minus 4y and finally plus 6. So we are rearranging. We are grouping these two terms and these two terms. But here we are in the alternate method, we are grouping it in the same order. No, here also I think I've changed uh, 6xy. That's what children see. There is more than one way of doing it. Here I've, re I've taken the 6xy minus 4y, the first two terms as it is. And then I've rearranged the uh, third and the fourth terms. The fourth term in the third place, the third term in the fourth place. The procedure is the same. That is taking out the common factor for, of the first two terms, last two terms, and in the bracket, you have the same expression. Write it once, gather the remaining terms and write it in the other bracket. That is the procedure. All right, go through and maybe you can ask your doubts in the next class also. Take a screenshot of this one, children. Taken, ma'am. All right. Yeah. This one also. All right, I'll just explain the second one, the first and the second one. So here we have two terms, a to the power 4 minus b to the power 4. a to the power 4 can be written as a squared the whole square and b to the power 4 can be written as b squared the whole square because two twos are four, two twos are four, two twos are four. Now, Cover the, cover the, take away the squares, take away the squares. So this is like actually x square minus y square, where this is your x and this is your y. Here. x square minus y square. What is x then?
A square, ma'am. Ma Why? B square, ma'am. B square, ma'am. Okay. So, X is the, the given expression is of the form X square minus Y square. So, the answer is X minus Y into X plus Y. What is X minus Y? What is X? A square, ma'am. Minus. What is y? B square, ma'am. Then in the other bracket? A uh, square plus B square. Plus, yeah, x plus y plus A square plus B square. Now, what happens here is A square plus B square cannot be factorized further. But this A square minus B square is again like uh, it's, it's identity, right? A square minus B square. So that can be written as A plus B into A minus B. That can be written as a minus b into a plus b. So it's like this. This is x square minus y. This is y square. So x square minus y square is x minus y into x plus y. This is the first step. Now this one a square minus b square can be factorized further. We know that a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b or a minus b into a plus b. That's what you see here. Into this one as it is, a square plus b square. Is the first one understood, children? Yes, ma'am. The heading is factorize. And see, we have factorized. The answer is a minus b into a plus b into a square plus b square. We know when the heading is factorize, the answer should be a product of the factors of the expression. A minus B into A plus B into A square plus B square. So A to the power 4 minus B to the power 4 has these factors. A minus B is a factor. A plus B is a factor. A square plus B square is a factor. See the second one. P to the power 4 can be written as P square the whole square. 81 can be written as 9 square. So this is X square minus this is Y square, correct? Yes, ma'am. X square minus Y square. So what is X? What is y? Nine, 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 nine. So what is x square minus y square? x minus y into x plus y. So you can see p square minus 9 into p square plus 9. Correct? Yes, ma'am. Now this p square, the expression with the plus sign, you know, cannot be factorized further. So that will come down as it is. p square plus 9. Now this p square minus 9 can again be expressed as x square minus y square. p the whole square minus 3 the whole square because 9 is 3 the whole square. So it's again in the form x square minus y square. x, this is x square minus this is y square. So what is x here? p mama. Y? 3 mama. 3. So what is x? Minus. Yeah, so what is x minus y into x plus y? P minus 3 into p plus 3. P plus 3 into p plus 3, ma'am. Yeah, into p square plus 9 as it is. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So that, that expression with plus sign cannot be factorized further. p square plus 9 cannot be factorized further. That will come down as it is. The one with the minus uh, sign, that is p square minus 9 can further be written as x square minus y square, which is further x plus y, x minus y into x plus y. All right? Yes. yes. All right, children. We'll discuss uh, 3, 4, and 5 in the next class. Complete 1 and 2 alone. But you can finish, you can uh, write down uh, 3, 4, and 5 in your notebook. Yes, my ma'am. Yeah, we'll understand in the next class.
All right, children. So that's it for today's session. I think next class is uh, uh, on Jan first. Um, I'll try to. I can make a class in the morning to compensate that class. Is it possible for you to attend? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'll just let you know. I'll. Uh, I'll just see when in the morning I can make it, meaning on which day. I'll share it with you on WhatsApp and uh, let me know your convenience. Is it a holiday tomorrow for you? Yes, ma'am. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, holiday, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Jan, Okay, fine, fine. Okay, if not this week, maybe next week I'll compensate. Okay, I'll do that. Let me do that. Okay. Anyways, children, I'll keep you informed on WhatsApp. Okay. Please follow that. Okay, ma'am. All right, children. So that's it for today's session. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, children. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, children. Ma'am? Yes.